Aircraft can be different. More versatile, more comfortable, some are cheaper to operate, others have better performance. But there is a special breed among them, uncompromising leaders and ultimate machines on the verge of the capabilities of modern aircraft manufacturing. Hello aviators, Sky here, and today we are getting acquainted with an aircraft that has set a new bar for the coolness of business aviation in all regards. I present to you the Bombardier Global 7500. But before I start talking about tools for Forbes list members, I want to talk about tools for simpler lists members. Since you are watching this video, you are familiar with the advantages and disadvantages of the internet. The advantages can be listed endlessly, but some of the disadvantages are annoying. The moment you enter the web, you find yourself under attack from companies and services, consciously or not, which know everything about you. Web trackers, malicious ads, not to mention the fact that officials in many countries have decided that they know better which internet resources you can use and which you cannot. The answer to all these challenges is a virtual private network, VPN. And one of the most famous, reliable and efficient of this kind is NordVPN. The system is pretty complex, includes thousands of servers all around the world, but for the user it is very simple and friendly. To activate it, you just need to launch the app, choose any country to your taste and connect. At this moment, NordVPN will route your internet traffic through an encrypted connection and now you are free to enjoy any internet resource without worrying about security and privacy. Now in 2022, VPN is already a common app used by everyone and everywhere and NordVPN is great and costs like a bottle of water at the airport. And you can get an exclusive deal. Just go to my link nordvpn.com slash nordsky and get 4 months for free on a 2 year plan with a 30 day money back guarantee, risk free. I think it's worth it, especially since, you know, I am an aviator, I'm a safety freak. And while you're on your way to the best security tool, I'll get back to the best travel tool. Let's fly. The history of business jets, especially the flagships, is interesting because, unlike the pragmatic commercial airliners, these machines are created with a certain amount of boldness and ambition. This is especially felt in the eternal race between Bombardier and Gulfstream. The Americans in the early 2010s brought their main brainchild, the G650 to the market, and this plane is oh so good. The main Canadian brainchild at that time were the Global Express jets, which were being actively modernized. The Global 5500 and Global 6500 were quite relevant, but still, feeling the inquiring gazes on them, Bombardier decided to take a more radical step. The idea came to create, if not a completely new aircraft, then a radically redesigned one, with the best comfort, top-end equipment and a record-breaking range capable of covering almost the entire blue ball. Meanwhile, so that flights with an insane range would not become insanely long, it was also decided to increase the speed. For the first time, a new generation of business jets was announced in 2010 with ambitious deadlines. The Global 7000, which was later renamed the 7500, was due in 2016, and the Global 8000 in 2017. So what's so special about it? Looks like just another Bombardier. At first glance, yes. The Global 7500 is a classic large business jet, low wing, tricycle landing gear and a T-tail with two engines on it. In terms of the overall layout, it is by and large similar to the Global 6500, but with a boost in all weight and size indicators. Length 33.88 meters, wingspan 31.7 meters, height 8.2 meters. The mass of the aircraft exceeds 52 tons, over 114,000 pounds, which is a lot. The Global 7500 is currently the heaviest business jet in the world. So what, they just made the plane bigger? A small digression. There is this aircraft, the Airbus A220. Created in the 2010s, it is the latest single aisle jet, efficient and cool, a big joy for Airbus. The nuance is that this is not quite an Airbus. The A220 was originally known as Bombardier C-Series. One of the most advanced commercial airliners in the world was created at the same time and by the same people who created the Global 7500. 
and with a whole mountain of innovations in their hands, they couldn't help but take advantage of them. The first thing that was used was the materials. Unlike the more or less classic relatives, the airframe of the 7500 model has raised the proportion of composites, while the fuselage is made of an aluminum lithium alloy, the same as in the C series. This made it possible to reduce the mass, increase durability and add a couple of bonuses, which we will look at a little later. The composite wing from the C-Series wasn't put here, but this one is not simple at all. Remember when I said that they wanted to increase speed on the new Bombardier aircraft? The cruising speed of the Global 6500 is approximately Mach 0.85 to 0.88, 504 knots, a high figure. The main problem of a further increase in speed is in fact the transition to transonic, let's say a difficult mode, especially for the wing. Bombardier took up the creation of a new high-speed wing together with the Triumph Group, which includes the former Vought aircraft, at one time a very eminent aircraft corporation in whose portfolio there are a lot of different kinds of equipment, from missile systems to aircraft, so the guys know, love and practice. They did a great job, the wing structure was changed, receiving new winglets, adding span and becoming thinner. The mechanization also changed, double slotted flaps appeared and the pylons at the same time became smaller and more streamlined. The wing however became heavier, but with disputes and delays it was eventually worked out. Similar work, albeit easier, was done to other elements of the airframe, primarily with the tail. Aerodynamics turned out amazing. The power plant was also replaced, moreover with the very best one. On the tail of the Global 7500 is a pair of General Electric Passport engines, a modification developed on the basis of the CFM Leap engines for the Bombardier flagships. 52-inch titanium fan, bypass ratio 5.6 to 1, pressure ratio 45 to 1, improved ecology, reduced noise and fuel consumption, as promised by GE, by as much as 8% very useful for an ultra-long-range jet. They deliver 84 kN or 18,920 pounds force of thrust, about a quarter more than the Global 6500 engines. The third big update was the aircraft control system. Previously, the entire Global Express family worked on direct control, which is already boring in our time. The Global 7500 received a new full-fledged fly-by-wire, based on a system from, yes, the C-Series. It allowed not only to seriously optimize the filling, but also to expand the capabilities of automation, considering the special high-speed conditions. The main visual change in the cockpit thanks to these games was of course the replacement of the standard large control yokes with side sticks. Otherwise, the Globals are significantly unified. Here is the Global Vision flight deck, created jointly with Collins Airspace based on the Proline Fusion Core. Four large multifunctional displays, a pair of tablets, indication on folding windshields. In general, utter beauty. Everything is to the maximum. The Global 7500 is longer than its relatives and thanks to this, the interior has grown by as much as 3.5 meters, up to 16 meters and 59 centimeters. New materials also contributed. Aluminum lithium alloy made it possible to make panels and power elements thinner, so the outer diameter of the fuselage of the 7500 remained the same as that of the other Globals. The cabin height remained at the level of 188 centimeters, but the width was increased to 244 centimeters, by a whole inch more than the old Globals. More noticeably, the new alloy made it possible to increase the window size. One of the most discerning features of the A220 came to the Global 7500. Retaining the traditional squareness, the windows grew by about 80%. Awesome! The volume of the cabin, compared with the 6500 model, has grown by about 20%, and the maximum capacity has reached 19 passengers with 4 crew members. So, going from nose to tail. In front, at the entrance to the plane, as expected, there is a kitchen. A full set of equipment, storage, a refrigerator, a countertop, a sink. Everything is to the maximum, on such an airplane compromises will not be tolerated. 
There is also a resting place for the flight attendant and a nose lavatory, which was moved back, optimized and graced with its own window. The first zone of the passenger compartment is similar in layout to all globals. In the front there are two pairs of seats with pull-out tables and in the back there is a new conference configuration. Two tables with three chairs around each of them. An interesting new design for this section. An experienced business jet fan will notice that there is no usual cabinet here. The cabinet, Credenza, is located in the third zone, which first appeared in the 7500 model. Something like a living room. On one side there is a large folding sofa, on the other the aforementioned Credenza, on top of which flaunts a huge TV with advanced multimedia and sound. For the Global 7500, a new La Opera immersive audio system was created. And this is a cinema audio system with a bunch of speakers and automation that can calculate the location of the listener and configure the sound for him. Cool. There is only one question left that worries every engineer aviator and high-ranking passenger. Is it possible to connect the PlayStation? Next comes the cabin of the main passenger. A chair, a wardrobe, a cabinet, a TV… There are many options and the main one among them is a bed for a good night's sleep. Moreover, the comfort control system is able to simulate the illumination as at the destination point. Given the range of flights, this should reduce the negative impact of jumping between time zones. Behind the bedroom is the main lavatory. It is filled with elements familiar to Bombardier. Everything is very cozy and beautiful. Meanwhile, the increase in size opens up the optional possibility of installing a shower. This is awesome, even for large business jets. Usually only VIP airliners such as ACJ or BBJ can afford it. The lavatory, according to the classical layout, is followed by a luggage compartment, which can be accessed both from the outside and from here. Bombardier spared no expense on their new aircraft, and it doesn't stop with the new sound system and climate in the bedroom. For this plane, the new Nuage seats were created with increased comfort and functionality. The latest multimedia system with communication systems and intelligent control is built around the passenger. The atmosphere itself was improved in the literal sense. The aircraft has received a new air conditioning system with filters that make the air as clean as in the lab and compression, which at an altitude of 13 kilometers provides pressure in the cabin as at an altitude of only 900 meters. The list is very long. A bonus for Bombardier itself was that many of the solutions were transferred to other models of the company, which led to a decent increase in the level of comfort for the entire business jet line. We have seen the model 7500, but it's not alone. A funny thing happened with the 8000 model. The fact is that it was originally planned to make the Global 7000 with a range of 7300 miles and the Global 8000 with a shortened fuselage and a range of 7900 miles. But then it turned out that the 7000 flies farther, which is why it was renamed the 7500. And the 8000 turned out to be some useless thing with reduced comfort and a not so obvious range advantage of only a couple of hundred miles. There was an idea to abandon it altogether, but then Gulfstream introduced the G800 model with a range of 8000 miles. As a result, the project was not cancelled but changed. Now the Global 8000 is in fact the second generation, which will replace the 7500 model by 2025. The same airframe will go through a series of improvements, increasing the range to 8000 miles and the cruising speed to Mach 0.94. Moreover, these improvements can be implemented not only on future aircraft, but also on those that are already flying as part of modernization according to the service bulletin. The creation of all this beauty was long and complicated. When in 2015 it became clear that the schedule has shifted, Bombardier tried to add optimism and describe the progress. And for more colorfulness, they signed a contract for the first delivery with their favorite client and ambassador, the world famous former Formula 1 driver Niki Lauda. The first flight of the Global 7500 prototype took place in November 2016 and ushered in an exuberant era of testing. The program involved five prototypes at once, each having its own tasks and corresponding names. 
FTV-1 for flight performance testing was called the performer. FTV-2, responsible for the power plant, electronics and mechanics, was called the powerhouse. FTV-3, the navigator, tested avionics. The cabin was installed on FTV-4 and it received the name the architect. And FTV-5 was already in fact the final version and without too much modesty was called the masterpiece. The work was not without adventures, from problems with elements and overbalance of the wing to engine failure, but without serious incidents. Flight performance was tested with particular passion. The flight altitudes were in accordance with the plans. Standard flight approximately 43,000 feet. Service ceiling as much as 51,000 feet. Cruising speed is in the range of Mach 0.85.9 and the maximum speeds went up. For the 7500 model it is Mach 0.925 and for the model 8000 Mach 0.94. 539 knots, 999 kilometers per hour. The plane works perfectly and the only problem is the increased fuel consumption. If it seems to you that 999 could be pushed to a round figure, then you're not alone. In 2021, Bombardier together with NASA conducted a test for the maximum possible speed and the prototype reached the mark of Mach 1.015, about 1077 km per hour, supersonic. There is no need to be dramatic, this does not make it a supersonic aircraft and similar tests have been performed before, but we can agree, it's beautiful. One way or another, the Global 7500 and Global 8000 are currently if not the fastest, then one of the fastest civilian aircraft in the world. In 2018, when the Fife had already flown more than 2400 hours, the main part of the program was completed. The plane number BD700 2A12 Global 7500 received a type certificate from the Canadian Aviation Authorities at the end of the summer of 2018. And within a few months, the documents arrived from the FAA and EASA. In 2019, the records continued. One of the planes flew from Singapore to Tucson, USA, spending 16 hours in the air and flying 8,152 miles and still had an hour and a half worth of fuel left. Then this record was broken by the Gulfstream G650ER and had to be updated. Sydney, Detroit. 8,225 miles. And then there was a cruising speed record. Los Angeles, New York at Mach 0.925, about 4,000 kilometers at a speed of 523 knots. Not bad at all. Bombardier is back at the forefront of the industry, flying the coolest business jet in the world. The portfolio of orders is measured in hundreds of units and at the time of receiving the certificate, two dozen production planes were already in final assembly. By 2022, more than a hundred machines have already been delivered to customers and these machines, let me remind you, cost 75 million dollars a piece, the price tag of a medium haul airliner. The recent years have not been easy for Bombardier. The commercial aviation division has lost ground and their main pride, the C-series airliner, is now the Airbus A220. Some people began to forget about the company, but they shouldn't. In the world of business jets, Bombardier is a toothy shark and is not going to give up leadership to anyone. The Globals are a big, winged and luxurious confirmation of this. Like and subscribe to the channel, lovers of everything flying. And if you want to watch the videos early, see some exclusive behind the scenes content or just support the channel, consider joining our Patreon community. Fast flights to any point in the world on luxury planes and soft landings to you.